said it uh, since the end of the season. I think there's a lot of areas of improvement that have to take place. Uh, you know, I think, uh, like, like I've said to various people here, you know, the first place you look is at the coaching. You know, you look in the mirror. So we're, we're working hard to improve the coaching. I know that the players are out there working hard to improve themselves. I'm not going to get into, you know, each position on the team. But uh, when you look at our offense, um, there's a lot of areas that need to improve. And, uh, you know, it's not just one position. It's protection. It's run blocking. It's route running throwing the ball, uh, you, you know, all those things. It all goes together. It's not just one thing. So uh, we're working hard to get it better, and uh, that's what the offseason's all about. Bob said for the Super Bowl, we can fight. You know, look, I obviously um, I've said this time and time again that Mr. McNair is the boss, and, you know, we're, we're going to do what he wants us to do. Uh, we're, we're early in the draft process, especially as it relates to me. Uh, I've just really started looking at these guys. You know, we interview 60 guys here at the Combine. Uh, those are the first guys that I've really spent time studying. Uh, so I really can't comment on any position or where we're, you know, what we're thinking as, as it relates to that. I don't think any of us really know that until uh, right before the draft starts, you know, and how the, how the board is stacked and uh, what we think is, uh, best for our team so that's it's really early right now yeah uh, AJ is very important part of our team uh, I've said that all along he's a guy that uh, has really worked hard to improve his own skill set uh, he's, he's, he played very well for us this year he played well for us last year uh, John Butler our secondary coach has done an excellent job with him uh, so you know we, we, we really want him back uh, you know, and we realize, you, you know, that uh, free agency and things like that, we understand the process of how it all works. Hopefully we can get them back before free agency starts. But if it doesn't, we'll continue, I know, to work hard to try to get them back on our team. Uh, but, but we'd like to have them back. Coach, what do you think happened in 2016 with DeAndre Hopkins? What do you mean what happened? Well, just like the ball off the production. How many catches? He still had like 80-something uh, catches. Yeah, yeah, okay, so he dropped off in catches. And he had about yards. Yeah, he dropped off in yards. But he but he did make some big plays for us during the season. We were nine and seven, we won the AFC South. Uh, he, he made some important plays in those games, uh, third down plays, red area plays. Uh, you know, as far as production and things like that, yeah, the production dropped off a little bit, but it wasn't anything that he did. I think he's a great player. I love coaching the guy and uh, looking forward to coaching him next year. Competition Competition's open with every position on our team, obviously with the exception of a few. I mean, I'm not going to stand up here and tell you that every single position is open. Obviously, there's positions that uh, we know uh, certain players are going to start. But the majority of positions on our team, that's what we've based our program on from the day we walked in here. We've based our program on competition, competing in practice. That's kind of what we, probably like 31 other teams, that's really what we believe in. 